Hi, I'm Billy from Greenwood Solutions. Today's video will be on flat to the roof versus tilt framing from a commercial solar perspective. This whole discussion about flat to the roof versus tilt is very important because a commercial solar system is offered as a financial proposition. What you're trying to do is match the site electrical profile with the output of the panels. We will be looking at flat to the roof versus tilt framing from a commercial solar perspective. The cost comparisons and materials between a flat to the roof and tilt framing perspective and the labour comparisons. Also the output comparisons which are extremely important obviously and other factors. Panels are orientated in regards to the consumption profile on site. What we try to do as designers is minimise the export to the grid in most cases. And sometimes an east-west configuration is okay compared to a north. What we ultimately want to do is match the output of the system to the site load profile. But we are constrained by the physicality of the site. We are constrained by the roof and the state of the roof, the aim to match the consumption profile, so what's actually happening on the site, minimising export to the grid again. In this scenario, we have a large flat roof, lots of options, east-west versus north. Now, there are always physical limiting factors. Size of the usable area of the roof, the orientation of the roof and the pitch of the roof. Also, the proximity of existing service structures like HVAC. Now, some of the important factors include maximising the output in regards to the roof area, the number of panels as related to a point of sale discount, i.e. the overall system costs, the FTCs, etc the installation, flat to the roof versus tilt, the associated materials and installation costs. The higher the tilt, the, usually the higher the output, but the less overall space available due to road spacing. Again, we have to match consumption profile to the system output, and we also have to take into consideration material costs versus installation costs. Determine your installation cost per watt for flat to the roof, if an option then determine your installation cost per watt for tilt frame, again, if an option, and compare the overall outputs of both systems. Then factor in the point of sale discount scenario for the STCs and the differential between flat and tilt installs. Now let's have a look at outputs and imagine a scenario where we have a north facing array at a 10.5 degree tilt. Now, all north facing 10.5 degree tilt We'll need a tilt frame. The output per watt per year installed is 1.345 kilowatt hours. Total for a 100 kilowatt system per year is 134,463 kilowatt hours a year. Now this has come from near maps and it's a conservative output for Melbourne, Australia. So total for this 100 kilowatt system per year is 134 1,463 kilowatt hours a year. This is 368 kilowatt hours a day on average for a 100 kilowatt system. And we're going to assume a cost of electricity of 22 cents per kilowatt hour. So the total savings per year on this particular scenario is $29,581 a year, assuming all is consumed. But this is not the reality. Now, if we look at north facing again, but at a slightly higher tilt, 15.5 degrees. You can see the total has increased for a 100 kilowatt system per year to 136,674 kilowatt hours. And again, we're assuming 22 cents per kilowatt hour. And the total savings is $30,062 per year. Again, assuming all is consumed. So you can see the increase straight away from 10.5. Now we go to 17.5 and we have increased the amount of energy being produced per year and that is equated to a total saving of $30,205 per 
per year. We are again assuming 22 cents per kilowatt hour. All north facing at 17.5 degrees tilt. The north facing comparisons. The difference in saving between 10.5 and 17.5 degrees is approximately $615 a year. Now, given X amount of roof area, less panels can be installed at 17.5 degrees compared to 10.5 degrees. And this is due to uh, row spacing restrictions. And, and please see our video on row spacing and commercial solar systems. The difference between 10.5 and 15.5 degree tilt is around $480 a year. North facing comparison. We'll assume the cost of tilt framing is the same regardless of the degree of tilt, and this is fairly realistic, but you do get more bang for your buck at 17.5 degree tilt than 10.5 degrees in a Melbourne context. But more space for same size array means a bigger distance between rows. And potentially this leads to more cable tray, more cable, more time spent on the roof. All things that you need to consider. All north facing, you are maximising your output per watt installed, maximum production. And this is in the southern hemisphere. If we were talking the northern hemisphere, it would be all south facing. And if you start thinking of things from a global perspective, look at facing the equator. This is a traditional bell curve, so the peak output is in the middle of the day. But does this match the consumption profile of the business in question. We have a 350 watt panel and we have 285 of them. So we've got about 600 metres of rail. We're using 4.2 metre lengths of rail and we've got 145 lengths. And we're placing feet every 1,000 mil or every metre. So for a total number of feet, we, we work, it's about 600 or so. All north facing material cost per watt for tilt. So $605 each is three grand, $3,000. We have to add the tilt frame front and back combo. So 300 of those by $14 each, so that's $4,200. Rail cost is about $25 a length. There's 145 of them. So that's $3,625. The total, excluding joiners, is $10,825. So continuing with the costs, we have an all north facing scenario on tilt. The cost per watt is the sum of $10,825 divided by the 100 kilowatt system or 100,000 watt system. So we have effectively a cost per watt of 11 cents and that's based on certain assumptions. Let's have a look at the outputs for an east-west flat to the roof situation. Roof is at 10.5 degree tilt, so we're going flat to the roof. Output per watt per year installed is 1.248 kilowatt hours. Total for a 100 kilowatt system is 124,780 kilowatt hours a year. And we're assuming again 22 cents per kilowatt hour cost of electricity. So again, assuming the 22 cents per kilowatt hour cost of electricity, total savings is $27,451 a year, assuming all is consumed. And you can see straight away the difference in savings comp compared to north facing is $2,130. And this is compared to north facing at a 10.5 degree tilt frame. Assume we design all east-west facing. We're getting less than maximum output per watt installed. Peak output is in the morning or with an east-west morning and afternoon scenario. This could more closely match consumption, consumption profile of business. Again, we have 350 watt panels, we have 285 of them, 600 metres of rail, 4.2 metre rail length, 145 lengths, again feet every 1,000, so 600. All east-west facing material cost per watt flat to the roof, 600 feet at $5 each, 3,000. Rail cost, $3,625. So the total, excluding joiners, is $6,625, effectively seven cents a watt, because we don't need the tilt frame aspect. So we're saving money there straight away. Now you can see the annual savings 
on a north facing 10.5 degree tilt is 29,581. East west, flat to the roof, 27,451. The difference between those two is in the favour of north, $2,130.17. Now remember, that annual saving will be repeated year after year after year. Now, if we look at the basic cost of framing, north facing on tilt, $10,825. East facing flat to the roof, $6,625. So east wins to the tune of $4,200. But this is a one-off cost, unlike the difference between output, which is ongoing. If we assume a labour rate of 35 cents a watt installed for the job, with a 100 kilowatt system, that's around, well, that's $35,000. Now we will assume time spent laying the rail and feed is 20% of the labour cost for the whole job. Now we'll compare flat to the roof versus tilt. 20% of 35,000 is $7,000. But with tilt, we add at least an extra 25% in time compared to flat to the roof because installing tilt takes longer. This means cost to install tilt is $8,400, an extra $1,400 compared to flat to the roof installation cost. Now you can see from this table, we have a comparison of the annual saving between north facing at 10.5 and east facing flat to the roof. We have got a comparison of the basic cost of framing and the cost to install. The total difference is in the favour of flat to the roof east-west configuration of $3,470. But remember, the advantage of in this situation is purely in the installation and material costs. The production differential between facing north 10.5 compared to east-west east or east-facing flat to the roof will go on year after year after year. So it's something to consider. Install rail and feet flat to the roof. Pros, less cost of framing. Cons, less overall production annually. Pros, less cost to install. Cons, will reduce system costs, negate the reduction in output, and for how long? Pros, takes up less roof space if this is an issue. Cons, with larger systems, possibly not as good in regards to PPA power purchase agreement. Pros, overall cheaper to, to customer per 100 kilowatt provided. And pros again, usually more closely matches site consumption profile. Conclusion. The physical nature of the roof will determine system design. A commercial solar system is offered as a financial proposition. Installing systems flat to the roof is cheaper, quicker, but are these savings negated by less production? The savings long term based on current import export tariffs seems to favour north facing arrays. Thanks very much for watching the video on flat to the roof versus tilt frame scenarios with a commercial solar perspective. If you've got any questions, any inquiries, any answers, please feel free to contact us and hit that subscribe button if you see fit. Thanks very much.